and the adventures of Pokemon Trainer Vega continues. Now, will we be able to make it through Mount Moon this time? Only time will tell. But first of all, I suppose I've got to murder this Zubat. Yeah, no, not going to try and use another Zubat against it. Man, this Zubat is an idiot! Why are so many Pokémon idiots when going up against Guinevere? Using uh, accuracy lowering moves when she has keen eye, using ghost moves when she's a normal type... Seriously, one would almost think that the, mm, that the AI in this game isn't very smart or something. What? I'm waiting for a friend to find me here! Well, then... I mean... You're speaking as if I interrupted you. Oh my god, it's the champion of Unova! But you're not the one who interrupted me. I mean, you're the one who interrupted me, not the other way around. I would have been perfectly fine with just going about my business without without bothering you, but no, apparently you didn't want that. Oh well, I suppose I will just have to murder you. Do I have awakenings? I'm pretty sure I don't have awakenings. I do indeed not. Well, I'm just going to hope that I don't wake up quickly. I mean, this thing probably isn't going to have anything super devastating, is it? Well, that's not super devastating at all. In fact, that's useless. Yay! Again, I question your intelligence. You just locked me into the move I was going to use anyway, and now you're trying to lower my attack, which doesn't do anything because I'm using a special move. Oh my, what a grueling and difficult battle that was. And Chrono grew to level 9. And Lewis did not grow to level 16. I lost? Yes, so now I am the champion of Unova. Well, that was a short challenge. I guess we're done here. <music> All right, Iris isn't actually the champion of Unova yet, so... Clearly, I am not done with the challenge. But do remember the next time we meet. I have already beaten you once. I can do it again. I suppose sooner or later I'd better check out which of, which Pokémon would be better between Pidgeot and Fearo, because, well, I figure having both of them as well as a Charizard would probably be kind of useless. I mean, as it stands, I'm definitely keeping Lewis because he is my starter and just generally going to be one of the strongest Pokémon I'm going to be able to find in the game, and I'm keeping Nia because, well, after Brock she is kind of a certified bro in my eyes, so... But... Trevor has never really done anything besides killing that manky I wanted. And Chrono is almost definitely going off the team eventually. Unless he somehow prove unless she somehow proves herself to be awesome. See, I care so little about her that I even don't that I don't even remember what her gender is. I should have brought repels. Wait a second, why am I even staying in for these pointless battles? I mean, there's plenty of trainers up ahead, I don't need to go to use the wild Pokémon to level grind. Oh my god, it's a Mewtwo! Or at least it sounds like a Mewtwo! Obviously, I had to run from that, because there is no way I can take on a Mewtwo right now. We, Team Rocket, are Pokémon gangsters! We strike fear with our strength! Eh, I'm not particularly scared. 
though, depending on that thing's moveset, this could be troublesome. Hmm. I shouldn't send in Nia against it, obviously, because ground moves could completely mess her up, and I shouldn't send in Lewis either for the same reason, so... Hmm. Now I'm hoping it doesn't have any, gra any ground moves, because otherwise this is going to be an annoying battle! Perhaps I should just sand attack it. And then send in Lewis. Murder it with a, with a decently strong Ember. Which won't be affected by the defense curl. Man, this is just the battle of the stat boosting slash lowering, isn't it? Well, I've now hit it with four sand attacks, so its accuracy should be terrible, so... With that, I suppose I can send in Lewis. Yeah, if that attack had hit, I would have been annoyed. Woo, critical! And the experience was chosen so spread that nothing really got anything. Though, if I am not mistaken, at the end of this battle, something epic should happen. Yo, Mr. Team Rocket Grunt, I'm not sure if you've heard, but Zubat isn't exactly known for being particularly strong. In fact, its moves are kind of pitiful. And this is coming from a trainer who insists on keeping a Beedrill with her. Or I mean, insists and insists I currently only have five Pokémon, but even when I do get more, I am not getting rid of Nia. I blew it! Oh, something epic is happening! Congratulations, your Lewis evolved into Charmeleon! You know, one thing I gotta say for the Generation 1 starters is... I feel like all of them actually look good in all of their stages, which is more than I can say for a lot of other starters. I mean, half of them tend to look super awkward in their second stage, and some of them look really bad in their final stage too, but that's a different problem entirely, I suppose. I mean, like seriously, what were they thinking when they designed Croconaw? That thing was just hideous. Or a Pokemon that I briefly liked, I feel like, what the F was up with Dartrix? I mean, it doesn't even look like a logical progression between, like a logical middle step between Rowlet and Decidueye, so... What were they thinking when they designed that thing? Plus, I mean, its expression makes it look kind of punchable, so... Yeah. Sort of like, I liked Rowlton, I liked Dartrix when I first saw it, but when I actually got one in the game, I was sort of like, I miss my Rowlet. And again, I find myself wishing that I had a rock type, a rock type such as a Geodude, for example, so that I could one-shot all these Zubats with a rock move. Assuming that the Geodude would actually have a rock move by that point, but... Mm. I am going to run away in terror. And 
And by in terror, I mean in slight annoyance. Hi, I'm excavating for fossils here under Mount Moom. Sometimes Brock of Pewter Jim lends me a hand. Yes, that's very interesting. <sighs> I'm getting really stressed, and that's because I walked up in a cave and now they just won't stop. Zubat, 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 Zubat. Yeah, I'm not going to sing the rest of it, but... That song is so spot on. Well, I have absolutely no reason to fear you. And Chrono grew to level 10. lost it! You lost what? I mean, I suppose you mean that you lost the battle, but then why didn't you just say I lost? How do you get out of there? Of here? How do you get out of here? It's so big, I might get lost! Hmm. I think I'm just going to go heal up to be safe. I figured the longer I would have waited with healing up, the more annoying it would have been to go back to the Pokemon Center and... I'm going to assume there's going to be a fair bit of Team Rocket grunts up ahead, so might as well just do it now. Might as well just run away from this thing. Did you come to explore the cave too? Youngster Josh would like to battle. Yeah. Again, I doubt she is going to get one-shotted by a level 10 Rattata. That might be bad though. Yeah. She should be able to survive one more hit. Okay, get out of there. I don't want another Harriet incident. Problem. That really wasn't one. Ah, but the experience was so thinly spread that nobody really got anything. I do not like it when that happens. I also do not like it when Fury Attack only strikes twice. I definitely don't like it when it happens twice in a row. You know, Nia, I'm constantly going back and forth on whether or not I like you. Nia grew to level 15. If I'm not mistaken, only one more mo one only one more level left until she learns something that I can actually make use of. Like, I think she gets Twin Needle at level 16, which would, on average, be more useful than Fury Attack, I feel. I mean, Fury Attack would need to hit at least three times to do more damage than Twin Needle, and... Yeah, that doesn't really tend to happen. Losing stinks! It's so uncool! Indeed. Which is why I never do it. Man, I should stop being such a douche in this game. Whoa, you shocked me! Oh, you're just a kid! Excuse me? Ugh, 
Never mind going to keep being a douche because people are being a douche to me. Hmm. Moving from a zoo bath to a charmeleon. That could have been a problem were it not for the fact that this steel dude just used defense curl. And, and that Lewis scored a critical. Excellent. And since this one doesn't have boost def in defense, I'm going to assume that a single... No, a single Metal Claw did not kill it. Oh no, Mud Sport. Now as long as this Geo dude who is immune to electric moves is in the battle, electric moves will be less effective. Seriously, that is like one of the most useless moves ever invented. And again, I doubt I'm blowing anyone's minds by saying that, but seriously, why does that move even exist? Okay, were it not for the fact that I'm six levels higher and evolved now, I would be slightly scared. Could you imagine if Metal Claw had just missed there? I mean, I'm pretty sure there is a 5% chance of that happening, and wouldn't that just be the worst possible timing? Also, if I'm not mistaken, Lewis is now on par with the next battle with Geki. And I suppose I forgot the battle with Geki on Route 22, and I'm pretty sure I can't do that anymore, so... Meh. Considering my team wasn't exactly in the greatest shape at the time, I was probably right to skip it anyway. Oh game, you gotta stop throwing these Mewtwo's at me! I mean, do you not realize how terrifying it is for me to have to face a Mewtwo at this early point in the game? Well, good thing I bought a, brought a paralysis heal. heal. Also, good thing this thing is a moron. And good thing I didn't use the paralysis heal in the battle. Ah, oh, an item that I'm just going to sell. Well, now I'm going to need that paralysis heal. And just to be extra safe, I am going to heal Nia as well. Little kids shouldn't be messing around with grown-ups. It could be bad news. Yeah, well, when the grown-ups in question are pa are packing ratatas and zubats, I'm not exactly super concerned. That could be worrying, though, or maybe not. Hit more than twice sometime, will ya? Oh! Oh my god! Wow! Seriously lucky with that one! Kind of. Nothing at this point in the game is going to no pursuit, right? Well, I'm pretty sure a sand true isn't, anyway. <sighs> Trevor, go in there and save the day!
just seriously, I might have lost Nia. And I only, well, it's not only just, I suppose it was two episodes ago, but I finally started to like her after a bit of a rough start. Of course, I can still go back and forth on that, but... <laughs> yeah, I don't want Nia to die. That's the point, anyway. You know that thing I said about how the further into the cave I went, the more annoying it would be to go back to get healed? Looks like I'm going to need to go back and get healed. Actually, I should probably go all the way back to Pewter City and buy some more healing items as well. Oh look, it's a Clefairy! Not that it really matters, because I mean, I can't catch it, but it's a Clefairy! Well, it looks like I ran into a battle I didn't realize I hadn't done before. How annoying. Eh, just going to let Lewis murder this thing. Or. Yeah, just going to be on the safe side there. I mean, the others aren't severely damaged, but they are damaged. I should probably stock up on a few awakenings while I'm there too. That's it? Well, yes. I mean, I'm much stronger than you, so... What did you think was going to happen? Now then, give me my potions and antidotes and other things. Or no, I suppose I actually don't need antidotes at this point. I have them. Quite a few of them, actually. Well, five, but still, that should be sufficient. Ah, I had more paralysis heals. Still, I needed more potions, so I still needed to go back here. And I just spent so much money that I can't afford an escape rope. Then again, I can sell that revive. Though, wait. An escape rope isn't going to help me. I mean, I'm trying to get through to the other side. Repels, though, that might be nice. Now then, time for my Pokémon to be healed. My Pokémon are now healed. Now, time to go back to Mount Moon and finish this. Okay, so I bought some repels, but in order for the repels to use, I'm going to need something stronger at the front of my party. Though, how long will those repels even last me for? I mean, I o could only afford two. Yeah, at least I should be able to make it most of the way without encountering anything. So, better than nothing. Well, I made it about as far as I did the last time I was here. And then I immediately ran into something as soon as the rebel ran wore off. Of course I did. Why could I not afford more repels? Oh look, it's a Team Rocket Grunt. 
We, Team Rocket, shall find the fossils. Reviving Pokemon from them will earn us huge riches. You know, I don't really think that's how it works, though. I don't think you can actually revive a dead Pokemon from a fossil. Yeah, video game logic, I suppose. Okay, and immediately I'm concerned again. Still, even a critical <laughs> quick attack shouldn't kill me at this point, so... And I mean... That would assume that this Rattata would score a critical twice in a row. Which would be just my luck, but... Okay, get the hell out of there. Yay, Trevor, Trevor grew to level 16! But he didn't learn anything, though. And then he scored critical on the next Zubat! Yay! Ugh, now I'm mad! But I'm not. In fact, I'm quite happy with how that turned out. Though, now I'll need to heal Nia again. Wait, no, I wasn't going to heal Trevor. I mean, might as well heal Trevor as well, but... Uh, I suppose this is what happens when I'm not actually looking at the screen. Sorry, just double-checking something on the phone right while I'm here. Double-checking what the rules for fossil Pokémon were at this point. And Gwynevere grew to level 11! I mean, she's still behind the rest of the team, but that's something, I suppose. Okay, I have checked the rules for fossils. I can only revive one, and I suppose they count as my Cinnabar Island encounter. So, I can take one, and I can revive it. Hey, stop! I found these fossils! They're both mine! So, I had to deal with Team Rocket, yet the final boss of this dungeon, as it were, is a random nerd. Awesome. Oh, come on! Ah, oh, double come on! Well, that disabling didn't last long. Ah, oh, come on again! This thing is too physically bulky. I should instead send out Lewis, I suppose. I mean, I don't really like using Lewis too much because he's still higher level than the rest of the party, but... Eh, if he's the only thing that has special moves, then I suppose that's what I have to do. And now he is poisoned. Excellent. I suppose I should just finish off this Grimer first and then use the antidote, because, well, otherwise it might just poison me again, so... Of course he has another thing that has poison moves. Eh, going to get rid of the poison. And is that going to poison me again? 
Yes, yes it did. Mm. Once again, just going to finish it off and then hope that the third thing he has isn't something that can poison me. But then again, looking at his team so far, it probably is. No, it's just something that can explode in my face. In this case, I think I should probably heal first and then use the antidote. I do not like this. I do not like this one bit. Okay, that should be okay. But then again, it's probably going to screech at me again, so... I do not like this. It did not screech at me again. That is considerably better. Yay, Neo! And if she had done this battle on her own, she might have grew and grown to level 16 by now. Okay, I'll share. We'll each take a fossil. No being greedy. Alright, and I think I'm going to, to use a random number generator to fin find out which one. Oh, first I have to heal. But yeah. One will be the dome fossil, two will be the helix fossil, so... That is how I'm doing this. And I got a two. So, helix fossil it is then. Alright, then this fossil is mine! Now, I suppose I might just get through the rest of Mount Moon and catch something and that should be the end of this particular episode, I suppose. So, how am I... How is my health at the moment? Well, Lewis could probably use some healing. Even though, again, I feel like I shouldn't use him at the moment. He is getting a bit strong. I mean, the level limit at the moment is, what, 21? So... Two more levels and I'm going to have to retire him for a bit. But first off, what's up with those karate people up there? I should check that. Ah, move tutors. Well, I don't think I have anything that can actually use Mega mega Punch or Mega Kick anyway, so... Ugh. Do not accidentally hit the hand-holding button. Now then, what will my capture be? What will be my sixth member? It's a sand true. Nice. I suppose in this case, Chrono and her severe weakness will actually be helpful. Because I can just whittle this thing down without any real fear of killing it. Really without any fear of killing it. Now then, names. Sandru, Sand, Sandy, no that's too obvious. And now I'm thinking Asuna, but that would be a Sword Art Online reference, and I can't do that. Uh. Well, one more hit, and I'm pretty sure I should be able to just throw a Pokeball at it and catch it, so... After that, I suppose... Um... Well, it's still not in the red, but, I feel, but I'm slightly afraid of a critical hit at this point, so... I mean, I don't think it would kill it, but I don't want to take the chance. And since I can't... Since I obviously can't do a Sword Art Online reference, 
I am instead going to call it Annie. As a completely random Attack on Titan reference instead. So now I have Nia and Annie, that's... Yeah, that's a thing. So, Vega has made it through Mount Moon and defeated Team Rocket and obtained the Helix Fossil. She has also gotten a new companion in, Sa in Annie the Sand Crew. What will the future hold for her? Find out next time.